This is Fred Beck from Frederick's Fighting, and today I'm very lucky to be joined by Fraser Clark. So thank you very much for coming on, Fraser. It's good to see you, mate. Thank you. Nice one, mate. No worries. I see you wearing the, the England cap there. The England bucket hat, sorry. You watched the game yesterday. Oh, of course, mate. Of course. I think it was like 20 million you watched it. You know what? I'm going to say it now. I thought Germany would win, you know. Well, what did you think? Do you think they would get the win? No, you know what? I always worry for England. You know, I guess it's a big game. I feel like we've swallowed it one too many times. So I wasn't sure, but I had a little bit of belief, you know, young squad, new squad. I wasn't very happy with the starting lineup. I thought it was like, you know, it was stuck in our old way, to be honest. But um, you know what? Gareth actually knows what he's doing, you know, made some good calls. I think I think that was the way to do it, you know, brought the attacking threats on later in the game. I think Germany were a little bit tired and the um yeah, they did well. They did well. Do you think they can go all the way? Do you think they'll win the final? Do you think? Um, the it's England, isn't it? You know, until it's over. It, oh, until they've won it, I wouldn't like to say because it just takes one by performance, you know. Um, I think they've got the ability to do it and the squad to do it. Whether they do it or not, it's up to them, isn't it? Yeah, that's a problem with England. You never quite know. All right, so let's move on to the, the boxing side of things, being from football. Um, I've always wanted to know, what does a day consist of for being a GB boxer? It's a busy day, mate. We train three times a day. We uh, we run in the morning, then we get some rest, then we do our strength work, rest up again before, you know, big boxing session in the afternoon, sparring, pads, bags, shadow boxing, all that, you know. How many times are you sparring a week? Um, Three times, usually. Three times a week, all right. And you've also said before, I think there was an interview at Boxing Social, you said it's horrible to box a GB. What do you mean by that? Hey, it can be, do you know what I mean? It's like, what well, people don't realise, this isn't like your boxing club, this isn't a choice, it's your job. So, you know, so it, I, I've been on here 12 years, I think I've been t- tired for 12 years. You're constantly tired, do you know what I mean? Um, it's hard work, but then again, you know, that's why we're so good and we get the results we get, because everyone works hard, everyone puts a shift in. Um, you're travelling you're traveling a lot, you miss your family, you don't get to see them as much. Horrible is the wrong word, do you know what I mean? It's just demanding. Yeah, I can understand. Well, I can't understand, but it does sound pretty tough. And so what's the last year kind of been like for you? Because obviously the limit's getting cooled off. Has it been quite frustrating? Yeah, it was frustrating. It was frustrating for everyone, wasn't it? You know, in the world. Everyone's had a bad year, so I don't want to take it too personally. But yeah, it was difficult because we expected the Olympics to already been been and gone. I wanted to be into my pro career by now, but, you know, the way things pan, pan out, that didn't happen. But you know, we, we've got a knock down the last six months and, you know, we've got, everyone's got over the line, you know, bar, bar two people, you know, which is unfortunate, but, but yeah, with the team has done really well. Yeah, no, it sounds like it. So you and France quite recently disqualified. What was it like to finally qualify? Because it's an amazing achievement getting through the Olympics. Yeah, of course, it's a good feeling, you know, it's something I've trained for for a long time. So I was buzzing to finally get over the line. Um, like, yeah, once again, it was difficult, a lot of pressure. Um, there, there, was, there was times where, you know, it was really, really difficult out there. But, you know, that's what we train for. That's why we do all the work we do back here in Sheffield. So I was buzzing to get over the line, really happy, you know. Well, how did you rate your performance out in France? Because I remember hearing you say you were so nervous going to the ring, you felt a lot of pressure. Your, le- your, your legs kind of felt like lead in a way. Mm-hmm. Yeah, the, them kind of nerves and that pressure, I've never, I've never faced. I've been boxing since I was 11 years old and that was that was different to any time I've ever boxed it was make or break and it really was you know that was it, it was either go to the Olympics or, or waste all this time so just to get that done was a massive relief and a huge weight off my shoulders but the nerves carried into that fight was different to any other time I, I sort of usually you know I feed off the nerves and this time there was like I said I felt like I led weights on, on my legs and arms but you know um, credit to myself and the other lads because everyone was nervous and the ladies, we, we came through. Yeah, I know. It must be quite nerve-wracking. When you when you got back here from France, I mean, I remember seeing on, it was doing the rounds on social media, you arriving back on your supporters, cheering you on. What did you eat when you got back? Because clearly you must have had a bit of an off day when you got back. What did I eat? Yeah. How long you got? <laughs> Everything, mate. You know, I, what, I think I had a Chinese. That was something I'd wanted for a while. Um, that was that, that was the main thing, and I didn't get a five guys, which I was fuming about because I wanted to. But I went out a few nice breakfasts, you know, 
um, my missus and, and, and the family and that, they took me out. We had some good scrad, uh, a good crowd, you know, and obviously everyone knows Big Freddy likes a, likes a pint or two, so a couple of, couple of golden bars, you know, a few pints with the lads. Was that, was, that just, <laughs> was that just for one day did it last or did it last for a couple of days? That was for 10 days. Not really joking now. That was a, that was just like a, a couple of days, but I think I had, uh, yeah, I went out for, but came back, I had a little celebration, a um, couple of Guinness and whatnot, and then the next day I went out for a Chinese, and then I went out with a meal with the missus over the weekend. But then, you know, obviously my old man got onto me. He could see the um, he could see the jawline disappearing and said, you know what, you got to rein it in, mate. Get back on it because the Olympics is coming up, which which I knew anyway, but it's nice to be told, you know, from someone that cares about you. Yeah, it must seem nice to have a, a few days off. And I'm guessing you've got your Olympic kit, your Olympic tracksuit, haven't you? Yeah, I mean, yeah, it's, 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 it's there, actually. Um, just a lot behind me. Um, yeah, I got it the other day. We went to Kitten Out in uh, the NEC in Birmingham. A big moment for me, big moment for the squad, you know. Something you look forward to in the cycle. So it was good. Yeah, no, that's awesome. All right, Fraser, thank you so much for your time today. That's been great. Um, and where can people find you on social media at? Uh, at Big Phrase Boxer on Instagram, Twitter, Phrase Clark on Facebook. Get out of me. Perfect. I'll put the links to those in the description. All right, Fraser, good luck for the Olympics, mate. We'll catch up soon. Thank take, you. Take care, friend, mate. Go on, bro. Bro.